Okay, I just wanted to, uh, I picked up a couple of these uh, candlesticks. Um, they're sterling silver and um, they're quite thin. I just wanted to show everybody how to disassemble these. So generally, most of them have a little pushed over lip. Now these are spun, which means they're very thin material that's pushed over a design on a lathe. Um, so the metal is actually formed to the piece. You can see I'm just pulling up the, the little bezel along the bottom edge. Doesn't take much. I can actually do this with my fingernail. I'm just using a graver because it's a little bit easier on my hands. So the first thing I do, now this material is so thin, you can't really use it for much. I just, I'm just going to scrap this. So you do pick these up every once in a while here and there. Yard sales, secondhand shops. I actually had a client give me this one because she didn't want it anymore and uh, knew I could use the material for something. Although, like I said, I'm just going to scrap it all. So then you can pop this bottom off. The reason they put all these ridges on the bottom and they form everything is because it's so thin like, it's got to be quarter millimeter, maybe less. You can find my calipers. I'd be able to tell you. Oh, there they are. <laughs> right in front of me. So this stuff is... Wow. It is 0.15 millimeter. So it's paper thin. There's nothing to it. Um, I generally won't pay anything for these. Now this is formed formed plaster. They just pour basically some type of plaster in here. Sometimes it's shellac. The shellac is a lot harder to get out. So inside here, once you peel off the silver, there is more of the um, support material inside the bottom here, but there's also a pin holding this. So usually it's a piece of rectangular steel from here to here, and I'm just going to pop this off to try to see if I can expose that pin for you. There it is. You can just see it in the middle there. This one's brass. So that just goes all the way through and goes into more of this plastery material. Pop that off. So that's, you know, I'll, I'll put my scale on all of this later. So in a second, just pop that out. So again, more silver, this piece of brass with the holes in it, binds it all together. And then there's just this little thin piece here. And this little guy here. So it doesn't take long to do it when you know what you're doing. So this whole candlestick, let's just get a scale on it. Just so you know roughly, you know, what it's worth to in scrap. So that's 9.6, it's basically 10 grams plus whatever this is. So basically 17.18.2 grams worth of silver, um, you know, if you get it for a couple bucks or five bucks it's, it's worth it, but you know, we're not getting full, full money when we scrap it. But Anyways, so that's it right there. None of this is, the stuff is all so thin, like you can see how thin it is. It's pretty much useless. It looks good, but it's, it's like paper. Anyways, I just thought, uh, thought everybody might find it interesting to know how to take these things apart when they find them. Um, if it took you too long to take it apart, then you're wasting your time. You're not making any money on it. So you might as well get her done quick. Okay, thanks for watching.